Yama, I'm Jack, and this is Newsbreak. Dylan Alcott has partnered with a bunch of big brands to reinvent some of their popular ads featuring people with disabilities. It's all part of a new initiative called Shift 20. Here's Joe. These are a few ads that you might have seen before, but they're promoting more than just new products. See, in Australia, one in five people have some form of disability, but currently only about 1% of ads include them. It made me feel ashamed of my disability. It made me feel like I wasn't good enough. I didn't feel like I was part of this world. We really wanted to try and change that and, and show how inclusion, when done properly, is actually quite normal. So, the Dylan Alcott Foundation partnered with 14 major brands in Australia, including Maccas, Kia, Uber and Wheatbix for the Shift 20 initiative, which recreated popular ad scenes using people with disabilities. It's about normalising people with disability in mainstream media. Really, really exciting for me because I know that I'm actually the Wheatbix kid. <laughs> These Shift 20 ads have been on our screen for a couple of weeks now, but if you hadn't noticed any differences, that's actually not a bad thing. When people see these ads, do you know what I want them to do first? I want them to not even notice. And when they'll click, and I'll be like, is the Amy woman blind? Hang on, can a blind person do that job? Of course they can, they can do that job. See how that representation is so powerful. And these folks hope that Shift 20 will pave the way for other brands to think more about representation in advertising in the future. If you tell someone that they can do something and then back them up and help them, then they'll be able to do it no matter if they've got a disability or not. The Men's Cricket World Cup is underway in India. New Zealand coasted to a nine-wicket victory over England in the tournament's opening match, thanks to centuries from Devon Conway and Rachin Ravindra. But all anyone can talk about is how empty the stands were. Hopefully that'll change by the time Australia plays its first game on Sunday against India. Meanwhile, the Aussie women have won their T20 series against the West Indies two games to one. Australia's oldest man has just celebrated his 110th birthday and to mark the occasion, he was given some special birthday presents. Here's Justina. Not many can say they've been to a party like this. Yes, the party. Meet Ken. He's celebrating his 110th birthday, making him Australia's oldest man. How does it feel to be 110? Confused. <laughs> Born in 1913, Ken's lived through two world wars, the Great Depression and two pandemics. So, what's the secret? Well, yes, I'm always been active. Yep, Ken says staying active and walking lots is key, as well as having a healthy diet, apparently involving a lot and, I mean, a lot of baked beans. It's his, it's his little secret weapon. Yeah, he's devoured the canned food regularly for 30 years, which was probably the inspiration behind this very special gift. <laughs> he's also scored a pretty cool letter from King Charles, which he'll be able to add to his royal family letter collection. I remember his birthday. Long live the Ken! In the tranquil confines of the new studio, our diligent presenter assumes his role narrating global dramas with the same fascination and respect that Sir David Attenborough reserves for the wonders of the wild. Um, this isn't a nature documentary, although Wonders of the Wild does fit these next stories. Actually, a bit more. The finalists for the 2023 Comedy Wildlife Photo Competition have been unveiled, and gosh, are they full of lols. The comp started eight years ago as a way to raise awareness around the threats that face these animals, but also they're just really funny to look at. Swinging into this next story is an elk in Washington in the US that, well, swung into a swing and got their antlers caught. Thankfully, the police showed up to cut the elk free before it knocked them over. A simple thank you would have been nice. And finally, a pair of baby red pandas at Whipsnade Zoo in the UK have received their first vet checkup and have also received names, Alex and Priya. Red pandas are listed as an endangered species and it's pretty rare for them to have twins, so the zoo is super stoked with these two. 
Well, that's all the news we've got for you, but we'll be back next week with more. Have an awesome weekend. Bye-bye.